So I want to ask, how do you deal with low value content assessment problem? Okay. Uh, all right. Let's talk about this low value um, content problem in AdSense. It's actually one of the things that you will face, one of the challenges you will face from Google as um, a beginner in blogging, especially when you are applying for AdSense and also in the long run when you've already gotten the AdSense approval. Sometimes Google may close your account and they tell you the reason they closed your account is reasons associated with low value contents problem. It rarely happens, but of course it does happen. Now, what is low value contents problem? Um, actually, three things lead to it. It is um, a form of judgment by AdSense saying that your content are not really valuable to people or doesn't really address the needs of the people. And how do they measure this? How do they come up with this? How do they uh, you know, get uh, to the point of saying that your content is of low value? What leads to it? Now, the first thing you need to know, which is actually the most important thing about um, that low value content problem, is that if you are not getting traffic on your site, AdSense will not really judge your uh, your content as full of value. They will not see it as um, truly meaningful content because they believe that if your content is of value, is of high quality, if your content contains enough value that addresses the problem of the people out there, people should be interested in it. And one of the ways they get to know that people are truly interested in your content is by people reading it, people you know going through their phones and spending time on your site. So if people can spend between 45 to one minute on your site, that's, that's a whole lot. It shows Google that these people are truly interested in your content. So if you are not getting traffic in your, on your site, that is um, one of the ways Google knows that your content is of low value. So one of the things you should do is to push traffic to your site. And the best ways to do that when you have that low value content issue, the best way to tackle the traffic aspect of it is to push traffic from Facebook or from Google Ads. Now, if you can get traffic from Facebook and Google Ads that will run all through the week, like let's say um, seven days straight, it can be as little as $5 traffic per day or lower than that, okay? So if you can do that between within seven days to clear up and Google will approve your account, they will approve your website for monetization. Now, there's also another thing that leads to low value content problem in AdSense. Aside from the issue of traffic, another thing that leads to it is having articles that are copied from other platforms. You know, some people, even though they call themselves bloggers, they are actually very lazy bloggers. They don't like to write. All they do is wake up in the morning, copy content from other people and publish it on their own website. They don't like to, you know, put in the effort to write. They don't like to put in the effort to create their own ideas, you know, come up with keywords that people are searching for. And as well as dedicate time to writing those keywords. So they just wait for other bloggers to finish writing or paying writers to write for them. And then when they are done, they'll go to their site, copy and paste on their own site. Now, if you are continuously copying content from other platforms or from other blog bloggers to your site, Google will judge your site as low value content um, website. Because what you don't know is that there is something called plagiarism checker. Every single thing you post on your site can be traced to another website if you copied it. So no matter how you copied it, you know, try to, you know, do it, Google will still know that you copied it from somewhere. If, if, um, uh, you doubt me, if you are in doubt, just copy one of your posts, go to plagiarismdetector.net or just check for any other plagiarism detector to online and paste it there. You will see all the sites, all the places that has um, similarities to what you have written. And if, if you truly copied it, you will see the particular website you copied it from and how many, how much of it you copied. This is something that is actually very common with Google. They can check all your content through plagiarism detectors. Now, if you, if you didn't copy your content, but you're also still getting that low value content and you are sure you are getting enough traffic, then it will bring you to this third reason that can cause this. And that third reason is the issue of not having enough content on your website. What I mean by enough content is not having articles that are at least up to 500 words in length and as well as up to 30 in number. Please pay attention. If your website doesn't have articles, that are at least up to 500 words in length, 
and then at least up to 30 of them on your site, like 30 different articles on your site. Google will mark your site or will always say about your site that you have a low value content problem. Now, apart from this, even if you have this site and finally get approved and you stop publishing and focus only on traffic or focus only on making money from your website, at some point, Google may likely close that site. Why? Because the last time you publish an article is since the day of painting course. <laughs> So Google may likely close the site because they want you to keep your readers on your site by publishing fresh articles on a daily or weekly basis, just on a regular basis. So choose your frequency. You can be publishing once in a day, once in two days, once in three days, once in a week. You get two times in a month, three times in a month. But do not completely abandon the place of publishing fresh content on your site. Now, if you know you are such a busy soul, that you don't have time to publish fresh articles on your site. All you need to do is install a, a, a plugin on your site that will continuously republish your old posts. So if you had posts that were you know, as old as uh, uh, two, three years, six months ago, or even four months or one month ago, what this plugin will do is that it will pick in the one after the other and be republishing them every day to pick one, republish. You can even set it to publish two or three in a day. It will pick your old posts and be publishing every single day so that you don't even have to do anything. It will continuously run that way. Any post that gets up to 30 days, it will pick it and publish. Anyone that gets up to 30 days, it will pick it and publish. If you set it to publish posts older than 30 days, well, you know, you can always set it to publish posts older than six months, one year, older than 28 days, older than 20 days. So it will continuously publish those old posts for you in order to keep your blog post fresh every day, in order to keep your blog homepage or anything fresh every day. Apart from that, it will also help those your old content to start doing well again on Google search engine results pages. Because if people are searching for those contents and Google has maybe in the past removed them from their indexed uh, uh, articles. Now, this time around, because of the fact that you are publishing new articles and you are getting new traffic on your site, and these people coming to your site are opening these old articles that were republished. Google will have no other choice than to crawl through those articles again and re-index them. So that's a kind of giving you the chance or the opportunity to bring in fresh traffic from Google search engines when people look for keywords related to the things you've written about. Now, if you have a low value content problem, please go back to your site, publish fresh articles, publish new articles, Publish articles that are of top quality. Do not copy and post, uh, copy from somewhere and just come to your site and you know paste it there. No, don't do that. Do not copy from someone. Of course, um, there is really nothing new in the sense that every idea you have must must have entered somebody else's mind. Now, if it has happened before, all you need to do is just read what they've written, you know, then pick what they've written and recreate your own in your own words. You don't have to copy what they've written hook, line, and sinker. All right. So if you have articles that are copied content, you either delete them or go back and edit them or use spinning articles, spinning tools. I mean, spinning tools that can spin your articles, spinning tools, paraphrasing tools that will paraphrase, rewrite your articles that you copied and then you repost them on your site after they have, you know, spinned it. And one of the most powerful tools you can use for this is ChatGPT. Some of us don't even know the unlimited power of that app. ChatGPT can do a whole lot for you. It can paraphrase, rewrite, put in professional tone, put in casual tone, put in friendly tone. Anyhow you want it to do an article, it can do it. You can write an article now that, the, the, that you know you are using simple English to write, and then you ask it to rephrase this article in professional terms. You'll be surprised. It will change every word there, and they arrange the article in such a way that when you present it, it will look as if it was written by a PhD holder or even a professor himself. Okay, so you can do that and publish it on your site instead of copying hook, line, and sinker. Okay, and if you also have this low value content on your site and you are sure you have at least 30 posts and each of these posts are at about 500 words in length and then you are sure that you didn't copy this post on your site yet you're having the low value content problem, all you need to do is just push traffic to your site. At least, you know, 50 people coming on your site daily is more than enough. Once you can maintain that traffic for like seven days to two weeks, that's all you need to have. And Google will approve your account. If they don't, you know, you know, you need to write more content and continue. So that's how to solve low value content in AdSense. Do you have any other thing you want to ask me? Feel free to.